Hey guys and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews. Today thanks to Merrimack Street Volvo Cars in Manchester, New Hampshire, we have the 2022 Mini Cooper S. This one is the automatic, 189 horsepower out of a two liter turbo four, but it does not feel like that. This thing is really, really cool. And Mini does a great job of maximizing space Back seat, I mean, not a ton of room. Again, this is the two-door. But once you sit inside, you realize this thing actually has a ton of room. For example, adjusting the rear view mirror, that is a good ways away. The windshield, I can barely touch. I have to really lean forward. So pretty darn cool. Nice dual sunroof, one for the drive, driver and passenger, one for the rear seat. Do have dual sun visors. So you have this, obviously. Oh, you can even, so that doesn't extend, but you can sit there and do that. Cool. All right, so we do have paddle shifters working through the seven speed auto. are in let's go you have green mid and sport with a little go-kart icon we're going to be in sport one thing you'll notice too is this ring around the side is really kind of multi-function so as you turn it towards warm it kind of moves with you uh, and then once you start driving it is a uh, tachometer so you will see that the rpm correlates to how it lights up so you can see red line is down here so i mean you have a tack right in front of your face but that's just kind of cool I do have the sport displays enabled. You can access those through the vehicle settings. I do like, so this is a redesigned model, but it's not really redesigned. The Mini stays the same, and unless you know what you're looking for, it's going to be pretty darn similar to the previous one. Um, oh, let's see. You know, with only 189 horsepower, I don't know. I, I definitely think that's underrated. The car doesn't weigh a ton. Uh, definitely under 4,000 pounds. And it's a small little car. So it's a very go-kart-like experience, which is what I love about minis. I do notice that this motor is very much focused on torque. Uh, while ringing the engine out is fun, uh, it, it really starts to die off around 5,500 RPM. So you really get more benefit to keeping the RPM down low and riding the torque out of corners.
one thing I noticed, and it's really kind of sad, um, I think it's due to the European sound regulations. The crackles are gone, the pops and burbles are gone. Um, I don't know if there's a sports exhaust that you can option, uh, but I don't even hear muffled ones. It's really, really sad, because that's what I loved about these cars. Hopefully the John Cooper works adds them in. Um, obviously you can sit there and tune it to do it, but you know, I, I, I don't review a car based on what you can do to it. Um, I review it based on what's available from the factory. No, I, I, I think this is a step in the right direction. Technology, this whole interface is really, really nice to use. Um, and these are still really fun to drive. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't have that cool sound that the previous ones had with the burbles and all that, but you can always add that in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next one.